This is the New York Living Entertainment Report. I'm Tom Farkas. Hey, that's Grand Hill, one of the NBA's rising stars. He's got no problem with the dunk and very little here with the funk. Getting the assist from the Brooklyn Funk Essentials currently blazing their own trail in the New York club scene. A group whose members hail from as near as Brooklyn and as far away as Sweden. The very eclectic sound of these eight musicians is as wide and varied as the borough it represents, celebrating in song the L Train, Miss Bed Stuy, and for those environmentally conscious, Brooklyn's recycling program. Everybody ready? Yeah! Let's go to here! The sound cuts across the borough from Cobble Hill to Canarsie, but is perhaps most at home on Flatbush Avenue. The epicenter of, of Brooklyn is, is Flatbush. It's where, it's where all the cultures need to collide. More often than not, those cultures are shoulder to shoulder, moving to the rhythm of the borough. This was the 70s. We, they, people would just file us under soul, R&B. You know, I mean, like, you know, there were a lot of bands in the 70s, like Moore and Brick, that were playing a music that's similar to, to what we're doing now. The band's debut CD, Cool and Steady and Easy, is just that, at times as subtle as a samba and yet just as funky as you want it to be. It's not like a pinpoint market kind of thing, and it's also not a pinpoint radio kind of thing too. It's like the music stretches across barriers, and um, as a result, you know, it's able to be listened to by a lot of different folks. Wait a minute now, different strokes for different folks? My greatest hero is Sly Stone. Well, maybe that's why this music is just one big family affair. Tom Farkas, New York One. Oh, yeah.